What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of E4 Attack on Titan, the final season. This is episode three, and with me as always, I have mm-hmm. Um so so like before we start, like uh, we did get confirmation, well, somewhat of a confirmation I think from one of the season four staff members confirming that the whole story of the manga will be adapted in well, into season four. I mean we we already yeah. we kind of already figured this out back uh, when they announced that this season well this part of the season was going to be 16 episodes and we knew at that point that you know that they're not going to adapt the entire show well the entire manga like with that many episodes left and yeah there's no yeah way. and um, not not to mention the fact that you know still to this day the manga is still not done as far as we can confirm yeah that's kind of where i I still, I, I was and still am a little bit concerned because the manga still is not finished. But I mean, if they are doing this and like I assume they're going to be doing it in multiple parts, then, you know, that they're going to have enough time at least to, you know, for for the manga to finally finish out and they can actually adapt the real, you know, the manga. Yeah. Thing. Um, I mean, if not, then there is always the possibility of they could do a movie or something like that if the, if the manga still is not finished by the time this whenever this does finish production yeah um, i mean so far the the uh, the last three episodes so far have been slow but steady uh so far yeah like the pacing hasn't been rushed like that's the thing like i i guess for comparison we look at something like tokyo ghoul re where like that series like even in the first few episodes you could tell things were moving along a little bit way too fast yeah they uh it was definitely very fast paced yeah, they, i mean it only got worse as it got one yeah on. just having them cram in all that material for like 12 episodes just didn't just, just didn't sit well with me not to mention the fact yeah. that tokyo ghoul Re's epilogue just got you know just got rushed without even having it you know having them like at least put it in a single episode which i thought which in my yeah. opinion should have been done more properly yeah, I mean, it did get much worse in the second half of the series. Um, but, yeah, so far, like, uh, the final season has not felt that way at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the pacing has been, has yeah, not been slow, but it's been, you know, accurate. Because, you know, because I have actually read this part uh, from the manga, so it has been mostly accurate to how it was in the manga. Of course, they did have cut some things, and they did cut a bit more in this episode. One scene that I... I was a little bit disappointed they cut, but it's not a big deal. Uh, but for the most part, it has been pretty accurate. Yeah. So I have not really been too disappointed with yeah. it. Yeah. So the majority of this episode was just mainly Reiner uh, recalling, well, pretty much uh, recalling his past, uh, including uh, yeah. back back in the day when uh, he and his mother were living together. And then um, that they pretty much curse their existence of being aliens and their father pretty much disowned them uh, up to that point so it it pretty much encouraged reiner to join with the the marlians uh, marlian military to become an honor honorary marlian uh so we we pretty much like uh, detail like his exploits like uh, of him joining the military meeting up with uh uh, most of the other characters that uh, become the the warrior titans, including Bert Holton uh, and Annie uh, from the first season. Mm. Yeah, they, they're all uh, warrior candidates. Uh, we also, I, I don't know if you noticed, but we also see a young Zeke. Oh, yeah, I, I, uh, I kind of It's the noticed. guy holding the apple. Yeah, that, that's that's actually Zeke. Uh, Zeke. I, at first, I thought it was Colt, uh, Falco's older brother, but it's actually Zeke. Yeah. Um, yeah <laughs> yeah i, I kind of figured it was already zeke but you know i you know i noticed that he wasn't wearing glasses at the time which i almost thought that yeah. he wasn't but i figured um you know just shortly after watching this scene i figured that that was zeke so uh mm-hmm. i think it was like yeah what was it annie reiner marcel zeke pet Pe- bertolt bertolt and then pet peck uh, or peck i i peck I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Piek, um, and and then, like, yeah, Bertolt. Um, uh, yeah, you kind of, like, uh, you kind of feel just really bad for Reiner in this episode because he's just constantly just metaphorically and physically just getting the shit kicked out of him. Um, but also that, you know, of course, we get introduced to the warrior candidates, but we also get, like, kind of a rundown on each different uh, Titan and their abilities. Uh, this is also uh, where we see, you know, the MAPPA's animation for the Titans once again. 
Uh, the only CG I noticed was when they showed off, of course, the Beast Titan, and then when they showed the Jaw Titan. Um, when they showed the female Titan, and when I think when they showed the Colossal Titan, it was actually hand drawn anime, or you know, hand drawn, mm -hmm. uh, not CG. So, I uh, my my um, concern have concerns have a, at least somewhat been alleviated that they're going to just do all CG or something for the Titans. Uh, so it does seem like they are going to be, uh, I guess, transitioning between, you know, hand drawn and uh, CG at some points with the Titans. Yeah, I mean, it, it depends on how Mappa is gonna. You know go around with their titans if because yeah. honestly i felt like um with using the colossal titan as a cg was too much too much of a shortcut in my opinion yeah it i mean yeah we, we do have to go you know we do have to remember that wit did use like did not really have that good cg for the colossal titan uh both well really both in season two and season three mm -hmm. uh it did not look very good yeah um I don't know. Mate. Mappa CG actually at least looks fine for the most part, yeah. from what I can tell. So. Oh, yeah. And there, there was one more person that I forgot to mention. I think there was the guy's name is Galliard. I think he's... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think he's... The, he's, the brother of uh, Orko. Or, I th well, what was or, 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 or Galliard. There's Galliard and Martin. Yeah, there, Mar Marcel and Galliard. Marcel is his brother. He, and yeah, so... So yeah, so um, we we find out that uh, Ga Ga Galliard is shocked. Um, well, before before they became a uh, you know Titans, like Ga Galliard was you know r really like uh, hammering on Reiner, think saying that you know he's inefficient to be like one of the Canada Titans. And then uh, so soon after, when they, they get their Titan powers, Galliard is shocked due to Reiner being chosen over him, and he he just like you know. It, it just like leaves him into shock as to why Reiner gets chosen because you know because he views Reiner as being inefficient and weak but uh Reiner just literally just stands his ground like I don't know maybe being overconfident that he gets chosen or something I I don't know uh yeah well once he he realized you know like he was chosen yeah he definitely got uh you know he he definitely got pretty uh pretty confident uh, and you know, tried to st actually stand up to uh, Galliard. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Marcel comes in and kind of breaks it up before Galliard can start, like, you know, maybe beating him up or whatever yeah. he's going to do. Yeah. And then of course we we also know that um, what, what, what was it? A Annie, Reiner, uh, Bert, Bertold, and Marcel are all tasked to um, uh, to reclaiming the founding Titan on Paradise Island. So they're they're going to be stuck there for like for. Well, you know, as we know, as uh, when we see them in season one, uh, but before they get shipped out to Paradise Island, um, uh, Reiner finds uh, his father like uh, out in the streets, and then he runs in to see his father. But then his father just like just like shouts him down, like because he he's an Eldian, and you know he's worried that like if he he's uh, associated with the son, he he he'll either get uh, apprehended or arrested or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, his father does not want to have anything to do with either of them, mm -hmm. so. Uh, yeah, and then, of course, uh, they eventually, you know, pretty much the group, of of course, uh, continue on with their mission to go to Paradise Island, and then they, we see, like, you know, um, uh, uh, well, we see the group of four just, like, pretty much talking to each other, and we find out why Reiner became uh, the Armor Titan in the first place is because Marcel uh, convinced the higher-ups to keep keep his brother galliard from becoming a titan himself yeah i think he uh he mostly said he did it to try to like protect his brother yeah I think. Uh, yeah, yeah be because like he didn't want to give him the burden of like well giving him that uh limited lifespan of uh being a titan and just like want wanting to you no know, just live live out the rest of his life but as we know like up to this point i think galliard became the the jaw titan right yeah. yeah so so it, so uh yeah but that of course like um soon afterwards we of course see like ymir and uh, like in her pure titan form emerge from the ground and then of course devour marcel soon afterwards and that's that's where we know like uh when ymir uh becomes a warrior titan up to that point and pretty pretty much yeah. like um uh, we see annie Berthold and uh reiner well mostly annie and Berthold like discouraged like uh after what happened and they just decide that they need to abandon their mission but reiner just 
is uh, pretty insistent that they should continue on with their mission uh be, be, because you know he, um he's determined to like you know to succeeding and becoming like um an honorary marley and then having you know make, making his mother and well and possibly his father proud in his eye in their eyes yeah and, and also because if the others went back empty-handed they would also be punished mm -hmm. yeah so that that of course like well this leads into like you know a brutal fight between um uh, Reiner and Annie, which Annie just like literally well, just... not even a fight. She just like <laughs> <laughs> she just beats him up like it's pretty one sided. Yeah, I mean uh, like like Reiner just like literally takes and it has his like you know face kicked in like by Annie over and over again. But of course like you know you know but because like Reiner is of course a titan, like he immediately recovers from that and then he just chokes Annie out um, out cold. <laughs> and then and then shortly after and then of course like uh, Reiner just you know makes himself. Uh, the de facto leader after Marcel uh, Marcel's death. So this, of course, leads yeah. into the events of um, the beginning of the first season, in which uh, Re Reiner and Berthold just pretty much tear down the wall of uh, Wall. Was it Wall Maria or was it? I think it was. Um, I think it was Wall Maria. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah. So that that's pretty much like where they led to the first. Uh, you know, the beginning of the first season, and then of course them. Uh, hiding themselves as uh, like uh, Wall Maria refugees, and then of course, yeah, uh, yeah. So I will say there was a scene cut here. Uh, there is a scene with the Annie as the female Titan leading all the pure Titans uh, over to the wall, um, and uh, that's pretty much all she does here. Uh, but yeah, that was actually cut. Uh, I I think she might have also like I think she might have uh, helped. Uh, I, I, I think she also carried uh, Reiner and Berthold there. I'm not exactly sure. I could be misremembering that, but I, I do know she was leading all the other Titans yeah. too. So that was something that was cut, but it's not like, I would say it's not like a really important scene, but uh, you know, it was kind of a little bit this morning. Uh, but yeah, so we also see that they transition from time to time between, of course, the stu the, the original studio lit scenes and the, uh, the new scenes with uh, Mappa, because you know, it, as, like with when Reiner is running towards the wall, uh, it goes from the scene from the first season and transitions into like the uh, uh, the Mappa animation. It looks like when they're doing like close up. Yeah, them. I mean, you, um, you know, you'll notice it because of like back back when. Yeah, it is it is pretty noticeable because the art style looks different and the animation, the art style and animation is both kind of yeah. different. It is noticeable at least. Um, but they also go into Reiner's thoughts whenever he's like running into the wall and like you know what he's thinking at the time mm -hmm. so we kind of get a little bit more context for that yeah and, and then of course so uh, it continuously like you know time skips from uh from different points to where like uh, the three of them join the the scout the scout corps um pretty much infiltrating themselves as like you know uh scout soldiers and then it immediately like uh, uh go, goes to several points and like well i think while they were training were I think uh, Berthold was talking to this guy who uh, who tells his uh, tra tragic story of how he lost his family uh, before committing suicide. And then uh, we also see Annie um, uh, tra at one point traveling underground and he she eventually runs into Kenny Ackerman. Yeah. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Like, I guess she was just trying to get information or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, of course, she encounters Kenny. Uh, and she, uh, uh, she tried, she kind of like lies to him and says like, oh, I was, uh, I, I guess she's like, like, I'm, uh, I, I don't know where my family is or I'm looking for them or, or something like that. And, uh, and, uh, she basically like tries to, uh, attack Kenny, but, uh, you know, ne Kenny narrowly avoids her, like kicking him in the face. Mm -hmm. Uh, and somehow she, she <laughs> breaks the wall apart. Uh, and then she runs off. Uh, Kennedy chases after her, but I guess of course he didn't catch up to her. Yeah. Um, but it was interesting seeing Kenny again, yeah. because I I do remember seeing that in the manga. I was like, oh, it's Kenny's back. Yeah. And then uh, of course, um, you know, we we of course get one more flashback scene with uh, Reiner and Aaron uh, for the first time. Uh, pretty much encouraging yeah. Aaron to, uh, you know, to go forward with this mission to to defeat the Titans. Pretty much like uh, you know you know telling Aaron about all of his like uh past struggles of him trying to join the Marleyan army uh, at the time 
mm -hmm. to, to you know pretty much encouraging Aaron. That's where we end flashbacks. Then shortly afterwards, like we see Reiner trying to commit suicide, which honestly I don't know what good will that do because he's still a Titan. Um, I don't know if he you know. Yeah, I, I, this scene kind of took me. Well, I knew it was coming because I saw it in the trailer before I read the manga, but it did also kind of take me by surprise. I guess it shouldn't have because. I, you know, Reiner, from what we learned about him, it, it does kind of make sense to say I, I think he was. He's probably pretty depressed for various different reasons. Um, but yeah, like, uh, uh, of course, yeah, he, so he, he's got like a rifle in his mouth. Uh, and, you know, he really, really think it seems like he's about to do it because, uh, but then he hears, uh, he overhears like Falco talking. Uh, and then he reminds himself, like, I've still, I've still got, I guess, uh, you know, falco and the rest of them so that's what brings him you know prevents him from really going through with it i yeah. guess yeah and then he takes the you know, out of his yeah mouth. i mean i'm i mean may, maybe i don't know if reiner just wanted to do it just to cope with himself or just wants to, i don't know it's yeah. just like i i honestly i just can't see any reason from the you know how effective like him trying to do it will actually work because like he'll i mean his his titan his titan ability will get passed on regardless as we learned in season three yeah uh even if he dies yeah like that i mean like, yeah because you know of course reiner wants to wants to give it to falco instead of his cousin uh but, but yeah. yeah so like eventually like you know of course the end of the episode the uh it we do transition transition back to falco and then falco runs into this eldian soldier that he met uh back in the last episode and he has a conversation mm. with him like pretty much talk to him, talking to him like you know how he how he how he wants to inherit the the armor titan instead instead of uh gabby and of course and, and of course um you know the guy talking to him um pretty much like talks to him about all of his past struggles and all the hell that he went through eventually we pretty much catch on that we know that this is aaron that he's talking to yeah uh we also kind of learned a little bit about like Aaron's, you know, kind of uh, Aaron's goals and motivations here, where like, you know, or, or just his perspective on things, uh, you know, like how I, I think he said something like, you know, I, uh, all all that, like, you know, I I just saw like another hell or, or something like that, like uh, I I thought, you know, I, the, like kind of I guess referring to how at the end of season three where he thought he, had, you know, that beyond the ocean was freedom, but it was just another hell, um, so like we we kind of you know get, get sort of his perspective on things and uh we we get a sense for how aaron is going to be in this season um you know his it, it's really like because people make the argument like aaron has significantly changed and i uh, i i kind of disagree because i i think that it's really that aaron's uh the target of aaron's hatred has changed of course from the titans to the people who created the titans uh, and basically the elimination of war and trying to free everybody as we're going to see later on in the season. Yeah, but uh, but from from I don't know what, what what we keep hearing, like you know, ba based on what happened in the manga, it's like eventually like he'll eventually become the you know the antihero instead of you know the hero that he. Would yeah, uh, pretty much. You know, like in in a lot of people's eyes, he's going to become the villain uh, because of what he's going to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. I, I should also point out that while this conversation is happening, like, I didn't even notice this, but uh, if you notice the tree beside them in the shadow it's casting, it kind of resembles the uh, the paths that they were talking about uh, in Season 3. Uh, it kind of looks a little bit like that, and I, I didn't really even notice that until somebody pointed that out. Uh, and I, I don't know if that was maybe intentional or if they just did that, but <laughs> uh, that was kind of interesting. But, um, yeah, so... Yeah, pretty much. It's uh, you should more or less know that the person talking is Aaron. Like you know, especially when you get a good look at his face, uh, you can tell that's Aaron mm -hmm. talking, and his voice too. His voice hasn't actually changed all that much, surprisingly. Uh, so he kind of he also sounds like Aaron. Yeah. Uh, yep. But yeah, so this is kind of the first glimpse at Aaron. Um, I uh, based on the next episode preview. Uh, I can tell uh, we're definitely going to be seeing a lot more of him, mm -hmm. uh, and it and without spoiling anything, I will say in the next episode, that's kind of where Aaron is. Is we're going to see Aaron's put his plan into motion, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I I think I'm pretty certain is where it's going to end, uh, and it's going to I I'm, it's going to be a cliffhanger ending. I, I'm probably assuming it'll be a huge cliffhanger ending. Yeah. Uh, and then episode five is where things are really going to get crazy uh, mm-hmm. because I yeah like if, if it's going to go how I think it is. Um, so yeah, it's a episode. The next episode will be really crazy, but this one was more like I I kind of assumed it was mostly going to be the flashback uh, with. Reiner and the other warrior candidates, and that's pretty much what it was. Uh, but I mean, I didn't mind that. I liked that we got more, uh, more of Reiner's perspective, and we kind of sort of sympathized a little bit more with Reiner as well. Yeah, just because of all the stuff he went through, and it's, uh, you know, and, and it's like uh, in the first three seasons, you really just, uh, well, at least in season two and three in particular, you really just hate Reiner. Like you just want, because you know he's just. A, you know like Aaron we're kind of like in the same boat as Aaron in that season like we think they're monsters uh, but in this season like well at the end of that season and of course in this season we get uh, we, we really get to understand why they did what they did and you kind of don't really feel so much that way you're like well they're just kind of they're more or less just victims of you know the brainwashing yeah. and it's you know not it's not necessarily I would say their fault it's just that the way they were brought up and what they were raised to believe um, you know, it kind of just, you know, like I said, they're victims of the brainwashing, and uh, that's why they did all these things. Yeah, and of um, course, uh, what uh, what Reiner in particular has gone through, like, you know, in, in his upbringing and wa- wanting to become recognized as a hero to, you know, his both his mom and dad, but of course, like, they, that didn't really, oh, e- even if, like, you know, if he, you know, if he did go back to his family, it's, you know, he's still not happy about it. Not to mention the fact that you know yeah. that all the the entire time he's been told like the people on, on Paradise Island, Island are like all devils and evil, it just wasn't the case when he, you know, joined joined the Scouts and started interacting with them like as real people is what you know makes him com- conflicted up to this day. Yeah, and I mean we saw that in episode two as well when he described each member mm-hmm. or you know each member of the uh, Scouts and. Uh, like we can tell like yeah he kind of he's he sort of broke away a little bit from the brainwashing he'd been going through because of how his mother reacts and also how gabby reacts too yeah um i, yeah. I mean yeah it's, but uh, but, I, but i'm i'm glad that they you know that they finally fleshed out reiner for you know for the first time like you know pretty much the entire yeah. time into the show i mean uh i mean like they've showed like some hints of that like between conversations between the Reiner and Bertolt talking about like you know they want to go back to their homeland and all this stuff which you know which let me questioning what what are they talking about and then we finally get get the real reason as to why you know uh, by the end of season three and yeah. this one too yeah like you get the sense that there is something we're not really we don't re- really don't know uh, when they're talking about their homeland in the in the first few seasons but you know and then of course now we know what they were referring to mm-hmm. um but yeah, this is a, this was a really good episode. I I, I kind of feel better about Mappa's approach to the Titan animation now. At least I I think, like I said, it's probably going to be more so. Uh, some scenes are going to be CG, and then others are going to be like you know, hand drawn. Yeah, uh, yeah, which I think is like fine. Com- comparing this to like to to Wit, like from like at the end of their last season, it does it doesn't seem like you know much has changed. Like. You know just the the character animation styles in particular because i i thought it would be i i think the i i can kind of tell a difference with the art style like i feel like there's more detail in like the face or or just facial detail and uh, also just you know it seems like there's just much more lighting and shading effects and uh and they're also you know in terms of the animation as well like we saw for example in episode two where they're they're using rotoscoping techniques mm-hmm. uh so i i think they are kind of trying to do a little bit of a different approach to it uh i i i, I it's hard to say whether i think i prefer mappa's animation and art uh, over wit so far um it's kind of neck and neck for me like i, I want to say i kind of like mappa's a little bit better because it feels like they're it's more everything looks more detailed in, in my opinion mm-hmm. um but yeah, I don't know. It's it's pretty close. Honestly, in my opinion, I felt like <clears throat> Wit's animation style during their last couple seasons just felt like a little bit rushed, in my opinion, because of their and mm. not to mention their des- you know their initial desire that they didn't want to make a you know a fourth season in the first place. Maybe they just wanted to get yeah. that stuff over with and move on to something else. 
Yeah, that, yeah that, I mean, that in that, could, that case, that could, maybe it's better. Yeah, that, that could okay. be the reason as to why, um, you know, the latest season of, uh, well, uh, you know, season two and three kind of suffered a little bit from time to time. Um, but I mean, it wasn't mm -hmm. bad, but, you know, there, there were some, you know, kinks that I know that I couldn't shake off from when I saw some scenes. Yeah. And I mean, maybe it's a good idea to, you know, in that case, hand it over to an animation studio that actually might want to, uh, might want to do it mm -hmm. and is maybe a little bit more passionate about doing yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I did it. I did enjoy this episode. Um, you know, ho hopefully we'll get to see what's going to happen next week. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be more uh, about Reiner or if they're finally going to uh, move on to what Aaron is actually planning. Um, uh, yes and no um so uh it's 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 going to be it's going to focus on Ryder and some of the uh you know other characters like gabby and mm -hmm. uh falco again so it, it, it'll still focus on those characters but uh off and on we're going to we're, we're going to see some more conversations between falco and aaron um and it's going to build up to uh to what i assume is going to be the end of the next episode yeah um so it's it's going to be like some scenes with Aaron and then but most of the episode I think is going to be uh you know scenes with uh with Falco and the others and some scenes with Reiner as well uh we're also as we've seen in the preview uh this isn't really a spoiler we're going to be introduced to uh Willie Tiber uh and what you know what he's up to mm -hmm. um we'll say he's a character that's not going to last very long I'm not going to say what happens to him but yeah he's uh he's not gonna last very long but yeah like we get introduced to him and also just the uh um maybe the warhammer titan may it'll probably be the next episode or not not the next one the next episode after that i mean um we're gonna get introduced to the warhammer titan mm -hmm. uh so yeah that that's probably what the uh the next episode is gonna be um so it, it's gonna be interesting though because uh, we're going to uh learn about the tiber family and uh, Willie Tiber and like you know what the history is with the Tiber family and Marley and all that mm -hmm. um, uh, as well as you know what Aaron may or may not be up to I won't say anything but uh, yeah I will see that too um, so yeah I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it because probably because I know what's coming uh, you know it, it helps after if you've read the manga you know what's going to happen <laughs> uh, but I will say after after episode 5 of, or maybe sometime after that is when I'm I'm going to sort of be in the dark because that's kind of where I stopped. Um, so, yeah, but I know what's coming up to that point. So, uh, just be prepared. There, there is some crazy stuff is about to happen in the next couple episodes. I'll just say mm -hmm. that. Um, so, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about this episode in particular. It was a pretty good episode. Uh, I, I thought the as an adaptation, it was mostly solid. Uh, there were some things that were cut, of course. And I'm sure there are going to be people making videos about all the things that were cut that I might not have, I might have completely forgotten about. But um, for the most part, I think it was a pretty faithful adaptation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. So I don't. Yeah. I don't know if you have anything else. To no, say I, I thought so far, uh, Mappa's animation style. Uh, like, I'm, I'm not gonna like make a full judgment on it until like you know the full season releases. But I think Mappa's made a good mm -hmm. first impression uh, in their animation style, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, I think it's really good. I just, you know, the CG kind of CG and anime kind of always puts me off, but I will say Mappa CG has been actually pretty okay. Uh, I've seen much worse CG, <laughs> so it's not really that off-putting. Um, but yeah, so I don't really have much else to say about this one. I'm definitely looking forward to uh, to the next episode. Um, uh, so, and, and we're probably gonna also do the review for that one uh, next Monday as well, just because of when these episodes come out. Uh, they just have a really weird release schedule. Um, so, yeah, we'll probably talk about it then. Um, but, yeah, so until next time, we will see you all later.